We're looking at Dustin Johnson's swing. He has one of the most unique swings in the game of golf. Not only is he one of the most powerful players in the game, but he has the most different wrist position at the top of his swing of any other player who plays the game. There are three wrist positions you can really have at the top. A flat left wrist position, a cupped wrist position, and a bowed wrist position. Dustin Johnson is very bowed at the top of his swing, uniquely so. When he swings the golf club back, what happens is, is his right wrist bends back, and that tends to start to bow his left wrist. So as his right wrist bends back, his left wrist bows. By the time Dustin gets to the top of his swing, you can see how pronounced his left wrist is in a bowed position. This puts the club face also in a very closed position which makes it difficult for an average golfer to get the ball up in the air. This is the most common mistake that ladies have when they first start to play the game. For one reason or another, it seems like every lady who starts to play golf gets their left wrist in exactly this position at the top of the swing, and the club face has no loft. That's one of the reasons why they cannot get the ball up in the air. I watch people all the time when they're giving tips to, to their uh, you know, girlfriend or their wife and they're telling them to turn their body and do this and do that. And this is the wrist position that they have at the top of the swing and they never will be able to get the ball up in the air. How's Dustin Johnson do it? Well, at impact, by the time he gets to the impact position, he's corrected that. Let me show you this. So you can see here. He's started to get his left wrist in a much better position. It's almost flat right now, much different than it was at the top of the swing. And by the time he gets to impact, he's going to have that left wrist flat to the target. For all intents and purposes, your left wrist is your club face. You want the back of your left hand to face the target at impact. If it's bowed, it's going to be de-lofted. You want it to be pretty flat so that you've got the right amount of loft on the club. This would be too much loft, not enough loft here. Flat would be neutral loft on the golf club, and that's where he's going to be at impact. The position he's in now allows him to just rip through the golf ball and not have to worry about hitting the ball to the left.